Our first Pulling Hall of Fame inductee was well known for his mechanical aptitude and sense of humor within the community of pro stock pullers that he and his wife called their larger family for most of two decades. But never far from the surface was a competitive spirit backed by a work ethic that earned six NTPA Grand National Championships in the span of only seven years. As he was fond of saying, it never gets old being a winner. Born in Mount Vernon, Ohio, Larry Shope served with the U.S. Army in Germany during the Vietnam War, where his responsibilities centered around demolitions. Upon his return home, he settled in Belleville and began a 35-year career with the Richland County Highway Maintenance Department. But in his off hours, Larry sought a way to mix his skills and creativity with a thrill of competition, and he pursued go-kart racing and garden tractor pulling. He transitioned to full-size farm tractors and found his niche. Soon thereafter, his partner, his wife Sue. As she recalls, when I met him, he was pulling big tractors to close towns around here, and then everyone thought he was good enough to go Grand National, so he went. That was in 1987 in the single turbocharged post-op class. A division that first appeared on NTPA's Grand National Circuit in 1981 at 10,000 and 12,000 pounds. Larry competed in both and finished tied for 12th in the heavy class with fellow Richland County resident Ed Eilenfeld. Years later, Larry would state his appreciation for the challenge the class presented. The fact there is only one turbo makes it imperative that you get the high revs coming out. If you don't, you'll be in big trouble and probably bog down pretty quickly. Larry also ran with the Ohio State Tractor Pullers Association that first year, and when he finished third in the 10 and second in the 12, among that organization's well-established pullers, Larry was named Rookie of the Year. Larry's sophomore campaign resulted in seven position improvements in the national 12,000 pound class and a fourth place finish in the 10. But Larry's name did not appear in NTPA results again until he won Toma, Wisconsin Dairyland Nationals his first time there in 1996, a year before the division's permanent return to the Grand National level. Even then, he was most proud of being able to improve his program by doing the work himself. We just helped building it up better and better, explained Sue. We just kept working at it. Larry was OSTPA's Pro Stock Puller of the Year in 1996, then came back with a sixth place finish in the 1997 National Standings. That year, Scott Snyder broke the international stronghold on the division that had dated back to 1986, a span of five titles claimed by five different champions. No deer had won the 10 since 1983, but Pro Stock was about to see a new kind of streak. In 1998, Larry Shope's Iron Dragon won eight times in 20 hooks to take its first NTPA Grand National title. The tractor's name, of course, had come from Larry's highway department career of Dragon Iron up and down county roads in the middle of Ohio. Now he found himself hauling his 4430 from Pennsylvania to Iowa because, as Sue reflects, that's just what it took. You've got to work all night or drive all night, you do that. When he'd have to work all night, he'd get in the back of the semi and lay down and I'd drive. He nabbed three more victories in 1999 en route to the second straight championship. That was a mere foretaste of the 2000 season. Four more wins, a third straight title, the NTPA's Puller of the Year and Hard Charger Awards, and the ultimate prize for a Buckeye State competitor, a National Tractor Pulling Championships ring. We both like Bowling Green and we both like Toma, said Sue, and of course Louisville. Those three were really important to us. He got invited to Louisville every year. Larry was on the verge of matching the Pro Stock's most impressive record to date. Four straight titles won by Mike and John Linder. But uncharacteristic driveline breakage knocked Shope out of contention in 2001 and down to sixth place in the standings. So that fourth title would have to wait, but not for very long. We started out in the lead winning the first pull and tunnel, Larry reported champion's interview in 2002, but then we ran into some mechanical problems and I didn't get back into the lead until Bowling Green when I got a second place. 2003 would bring a fifth title to the Shope household, which includes sons Darren, Todd, and Chad, as well as his most important helper, my wife.
wife, Sue, is a big part of my pulling, and she deserves a lot of the credit, explained Larry. She spots the sled and tells me the line I should try. You win or lose coming out of the hole. Though that season featured only two wins by the Dragon, his consistency overwhelmed his competitor and resulted in a 23-point gap. Larry's sixth and final championship came at the end of a second three-year stretch and with a third straight Puller of the Year trophy, a recognition of Schilt by his peers as the division's toughest competitor. And though 2004 marked his last appearance on the banquet stage, Larry was not yet done winning. He claimed his second and third Bowling Green rings in 2005 and 2006 and a fourth class victory at the National Farm Machinery Show in 2010. After that, said Sue, we just kind of gradually got out. It changed so much. Larry went to a lot of pools after he quit. He enjoyed watching them. He disclosed that he also pursued some other interests. He golfed. He liked golfing. And he knew how to win there, too, scoring a hole in one in his home county's golf course. He was competitive about everything. Darts, whenever he plays, he's there to win. Sue and the rest of the pulling world lost Larry suddenly in 2000. 15 in June. It was a great life we had. Wouldn't change a thing. Just was too short. In 87, we went to the banquet, and that's when he got Rookie of the Year, and I've been with him pretty much ever since. He's so competitive, I guess that's what I like. He likes to win. He's nice, but he likes to win. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage Mrs. Sue Shope, and let us rise and honor Mr. Larry Shope, a member of the 2017 class of Pulling Hall of Fame. 